As an elementary teacher, I've seen firsthand the importance of good handwriting. I taught kindergarten and first grade for years, and now I'm in fifth grade, and you can definitely see when students didn't get proper handwriting instruction through no fault of anyone's, especially during the pandemic when handwriting probably went out the window because it was not a top priority with online learning. So I'm gonna teach you in this video today why handwriting matters for academic success and give you some tips on how to conquer it in your class Room and do um, incorporate lessons that can easily just be added on to something you're already doing and it doesn't feel like a lot of pressure. All right, first, handwriting helps with fine motor skills and coordination. Fine motor are these three fingers. So we use those for holding a pencil, grasping, we use them to button buttons, zip zippers, there are fine motor fingers. When we start incorporating our ring finger and our pinky finger, that turns into gross motor and think about throwing a baseball. So if kids are using those fingers when they're holding the grip of a pencil, that creates some problems because they're going to tire out their hand more quickly, their handwriting won't be as precise, and they will struggle later on when they're trying to learn cursive. So I always remind them in the beginning that these are your fine motor and these are your pencil fingers. So these, these fingers are the ones that grip and then this one is resting. So I have a lot of content on this, a blog post and some other videos. So go ahead and check those out if you haven't seen them where I go into more detail. I also teach a handwriting course called Handwriting Fundamentals and that is available all the time on demand and it's really low cost and you get all of my handwriting worksheets actually 26 letters plus four more bonus lessons on how to do a proper grip and your child or student could do it independently without anybody um, looking over them except for checking their handwriting of course uh, i also teach that on out school as well so i'll leave those descriptions below so if your child wants to take it live with me they can do it on out school if they want to do it on demand they can do it that way as well okay so it's better for your organizational thoughts on paper to have proper handwriting i mean are you going to want to actually take notes when you get to high school and college if you can't properly grip a pencil, your hand is getting tired. And some people would argue that we've gone to a technological phase and we don't need this anymore. But there is a lot of science behind actually taking pencil to paper and jotting things down versus typing things out. So look that up if you don't believe me, it's a real thing. Me personally, there's some things I do digital. I've started doing more of a digital grade book in my classroom, but I still love a pencil to paper planner. So it's all kind of what works best for you, but handwriting plays a fundamental role in all of that. Handwriting practice can improve your vocabulary and your spelling skills. It's all kind of interlinked. It's crazy to think, but if you're resisting ever picking up a pencil and you just don't like to practice handwriting as a small child, it's going to make so many other things like the writing process difficult for you later on. I'm sure that makes sense completely, especially if you're a classroom teacher. All right, handwriting can also enhance, hand, handwriting practice can enhance your creativity and your expression of self. If you're able to freely write and nothing's inhibiting you, you're going to be more creative. Handwriting can also help Proper handwriting practice can also help with proper letter for formation, writing numbers. You wouldn't believe the number of kids I see that start from the bottom and move up instead of top to bottom, especially with numbers. Once they've established those poor handwriting patterns and habits, it's really hard to break. Um, I have some rhymes for that as well that I teach them. And inside of my handwriting course and all of my handwriting worksheets, you can find the proper prompts so that you can guide a child or a student the, the right way so that they are learning. Because when it is, when you're starting from the bottom and going up, you're creating some really bad habits over time. So I have all those prompts in my A to Z bundle where you can get all of my handwriting worksheets as well. All right, handwriting practice can improve your focus and concentration because if you think about it, it's almost meditative in practice because you're just going, you know, if you're doing the letter A, it's down, down, across, you know, it's just so repetitive, but it's really good because it allows your brain to just have some time to focus on that one thing and get better at it. And by the time kids are in fifth grade, if they haven't really had a lot of great handwriting practice, handwriting is going to be more difficult for them and a struggle to do actual writing. So just keep that in mind. 
and I just mentioned this, but I think this is the best one. It can be really therapeutic for students. I think the meditative aspect, like I just mentioned, can just be really calming and you don't have to spend a lot of time each day going over it. You could pick one letter a day. You could even do one letter a week. Just make it manageable and have practice. I'm working on getting all the cursive letters into my store right now. I have a few in there. So if you have upper grades and you want to teach them cursive, I will have those all available for you soon. And maybe one day in the near future, I'll, future, I'll have a cursive handwriting course just like my handwriting fundamentals. Are you practicing handwriting in your classroom? No shame if you're not. Let me know in the comments below. Share this with an elementary teacher friend who's talked about wanting to do more handwriting but just can't find the time. I have lots of videos, but this one would be great to share with them. And I hope that these tips helped you in some way or another and just encourage you to teach handwriting in your classroom because it can be really fun and great for your students. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.